All right, guys, so like I promised you, I was gonna do the giveaway in this video. There was 707 comments, bam. And the winner, da -da 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 -da. Robs, pulled out the burnt orange NMD R2 for a date night and work night, keep up the inspiration and great content. Late on the watch, but post notification keeps me informed. Live it up, homie. Congratulations, bro, man. I really appreciate your support. I appreciate all you guys. Of course, I'm gonna try to do as many giveaways as I can. Let's get into the video. Every day from when I go to and I got these in, right? Shout out to Kicks R Force. If you guys ever want sneakers early, they're definitely the place to go to, always authentic. I think they got like two, two, maybe three stores now. So you don't gotta worry about getting finessed on the internet, you know how it goes. But this is the UNC Pearl Blue Jordan 9. And these are actually going to release, um, I believe February 9th. I think that's what it is for now. Either way, All-Star Weekend, it's either February 9th or the 19th. Retail's gonna be $190. Now this is gonna be a shoe that personally is I think is gonna sit. I really like the colorway. I wish these would have came out when I was in college because these go perfectly with our jerseys, our uniforms, just like on traveling wise, we had the navy colors. So these would have looked real clean around that time, man. Jordan Brand, you could have dropped these a couple years ago, man. Of course, I wanted to give you guys my first thoughts on it. It's a simple Jordan, nice leather. Really love the fact that they have the pearl, you know what I'm saying? Like. That's dope. I love the shiny patent leather on this. I think it looks super clean. Now, Jordan 9s are tricky. I have a lot of Jordan 9s, and I can't tell you the last time I actually wore a pair of them. It's been at least two years since I've worn a pair of 9s just casually. I don't even know if I still have my Motorboat Jones 9s. I would have to look downstairs, but that's probably my favorite Jordan 9. Dang, man, I hope I didn't sell those. I don't even know. This is a shoe that I would wear today. You know, it kind of, it goes with my jacket a little bit. Jordan 9s to me are just kind of a bigger, bulkier shoe. I think they're really nice to wear during like the fall, winter time. When it's summer, it's a breathable shoe. You know, this is based off of a baseball shoe from the rip, but I don't know, it's just not really a summer shoe. I feel like it gets a little hot wearing these and obviously we're going winter into spring transition, but you know, for the most part, we're not even in spring yet, but you get what I'm saying. It's just a clean shoe. If you wanna pick it up, I definitely say it's a go. My advice would be to wait, just because I know these aren't gonna sell out. They're gonna hit the outlets. A lot of Jordans that you guys are gonna see this year are most likely, if you wanna wait on them, they'll probably drop in price. It's just how it is. Jordan brand is really mass producing a lot of shoes, and you know, Nike is just doing that in general. Every once in a while, we get a shoe that's super hype and hard to get, but for the most part, Every shoe that is gonna come out, I would say, in the future, it's gonna be pretty easy to get. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It kind of gives you an opportunity to be more stylish and more creative instead of just focusing on hype. Buy what you like because not everybody's gonna have that same shoe even though it's available everywhere. I hope that makes sense. It's kind of confusing what I just said. I just feel like now nobody can really sit online and complain because they missed out on their J's. They're super easy to get, so I mean, it is what it is. It's no different than the Yeezys. What I will say, the difference between Jordans and Yeezys, obviously the, the iconic basketball realm behind that, but as far as like, are Jordans boring? Are Yeezys boring? You know, Yeezys you have the V2s. Same shoe, different colorway with Jordan. Yeah, you have the same shoe and maybe some of the same colorways, but Jordan brand is putting out wild colorways. There's different options, you know, one through 14, one through 37, one through 100, bro, you know what I'm saying? like. You guys get what I mean. There's a lot more variations of Jordans and different styles versus the Yeezys. But yeah, guys, I just kind of wanted to give you my first thoughts and see what you thought about this shoe. This probably isn't something that I'm gonna keep. I just wanted to get these in hand and kind of talk about it. And hopefully you guys can decide if you want them. Now, in my opinion, these run small. Like, this is a size 12. I would prefer a 13, but maybe it's just because I have a wider foot for some reason. This side really squishes my pinky toe, so I need a 13 in these, but this is a 12. With that, just go to the store, try them on. It never hurts. I really hope it helped you decide if you wanted to pick these up or not. Let me know down below if it's something you're interested in that's coming out in the next month or so, but I'll catch you on the next one. Run it.